Hey guys, it's Sean with Floriflex Tech Support. We're back at it to go ahead and walk you guys through setting up the irrigation for this trifecta room pheno hunt edition where we'll have four zones, one zone per light. Here we currently have our pre-assembled table drop down that we have from previous runs where this is our main supply line running from the reservoir. Right here, we have a three-quarter inch true union ball valve, which connects to our three-quarter inch disc filter, which connects to a three-quarter inch female adapter with a three-quarter inch barb on the other side, which comes down to three-quarter inch spa tubing, AKA flex PVC. And then another fit in here for the three quarter inch female adapter to three quarter inch barb, where we already had a three quarter inch male adapter attached to it. So we'll go ahead and connect in our 16, 17 millimeter tube in. In this video, we're currently using the Pop Pro Lynx for simplicity's sake, since we don't have to run the tube in very far. far. Go ahead and just slide in your 16, 17 millimeter tube in. You don't have to release the lock all the way. Go ahead and tighten up the lock. Now we'll come over to our 16, 17 millimeter T. We'll have four of these along the run so that we can break off to each zone. Same thing, just push the 16, 17 millimeter tube in, in twist, and then tighten the lock. On the outlet side, we'll do the same thing, connect in a four foot Pop Pro link, slide in twist. You can see it has a nice snug fit. If you just try to pull it, you have to pull really hard to pull it out with this locking mechanism right here. Go ahead and tighten it up. Next, we'll cut a small piece of 16, 17 millimeter tube in to go ahead and attach the three quarter inch male adapter to the 16, 17 millimeter T. So we'll just look at the end of where each lock is here and then go ahead and cut a small piece of tube in there. Go ahead and connect that into the outlet of the 16, 17 millimeter T in the center here. Next, we'll go ahead and wrap our three quarter inch male adapter with Teflon tape. Aim for roughly four to five wraps when using Teflon tape. Then we'll go ahead and connect that into our three quarter inch nylon valve. Spin it till it makes sure it's hand tight. Some people like to come back through with pliers and give one more twist after you hand tighten just to ensure that it's as tight as it can get. Now we'll wrap the next three quarter inch male adapter with the Teflon tape for the outlet of the three quarter inch nylon valve. Same thing, we'll go ahead and make sure it's nice and snug in there. And then bring that over here, same thing. We'll loosen this fitting up just slightly. Push, twist, make sure it's in there snug. And then go ahead and tighten the lock. Right here we have a two foot Pop Pro link that'll connect to the male adapter on the outlet side where we'll go ahead and add a 16, 17 millimeter male adapter, which will connect to our lateral flush valve. The lateral flush valves used to flush irrigation lines in between each irrigation cycle. It really helps extend the lifespan of your micro drippers and ensure that there's no, no water sitting in the line in between irrigations and you always have a fresh water supply for each run. So here we'll go ahead and connect that in, push, twist, tighten our fit in. 
Typically, we would run a closed loop on the irrigations, but since these zones are so small, you could run a single line and not worry about pressure issues being consistent. Now we'll go ahead and punch in two holes for the micro drippers. Repeat on the other side. This time it's a little bit different since we're running a single line from how we normally would do it. So we'll punch in between the other two hole punches. Pop in your micro drippers. You know you had a nice punch and everything's in there secure when you hear that popping noise. What we like to do with the two way micro drippers is to take one line off of each emitter so that you now have two emitters feeding a single plant. So we'll take these stakes, put them right into our closed top O2 one gallon quick fills where they have two pre-drilled center holes in the center so you don't have to open up the bags to expand out the micro drippers. We'll do the same thing here for this one. So as you can see, each plant is being fed off of two emitters but still has two drip lines in there. Next, we'll continue this punching out our holes to put in the rest of the micro drippers in this section and then go ahead and repeat the process down the rest of the table. We now have the irrigation set up all put together for all four zones here with the exception of the nylon valves. We'll be connecting that to our irrigation controller in one of the next videos. Uh, we add in a 16, 17 millimeter shutoff valve here that will keep in the closed position unless we need to flush the main line. Next, we'll go ahead and prepare for expanding out the quick fills with our V1, V2 solution along with root drip. We'll be using five grams each per gallon V1, V2 with one ml per gallon of root drip. And then we'll go ahead and turn on the irrigation system with all the valves in the open position. Let the system run for roughly 75 to 90 minutes to expand out the quick fills. At the same time, the room will be getting prepared to hit temperatures of 84 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit with roughly 70 to 72 percent humidity in the room. CO2 pushed up to around 1200 ppm. Stay tuned for the next video where we go ahead and select our phenos for the pheno hunt and transplant into the one gallon quick fills.